Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit. Known as the Stealth Bomber, this American heavy strategic bomber epitomizes low observable stealth technology designed to penetrate formidable anti-aircraft defenses. The B-2, a subsonic flying wing with a two-person crew, emerged from Northrop's innovative design and was produced from 1987 to 2000. Its unique capability to carry a mix of conventional and thermonuclear weapons, including up to 80 500-pound MK-82 JDAM GPS-guided bombs, or 16 2,400-pound B-83 nuclear bombs sets it apart. Following the Soviet Union's dissolution, the B-2's role expanded to include conventional precision attacks, featuring a sophisticated GPS-aided targeting system and the capability to deploy a variety of ordnance. Notably, the B-2 stands as the only acknowledged aircraft in active service capable of carrying significant air-to-surface standoff weapons while maintaining a stealth configuration. Envisioned initially for deep penetrating nuclear strike missions during the Cold War, the B-2's design includes two internal bomb bays reducing radar visibility compared to external munitions carriage. A specialized team of munitions airmen follows strict procedures to handle the munitions safely and accurately. Control lug nut 2. Breathing warning, personnel cell phones, pages, PDAs, posing electromagnetic radiation hazard exposed munitions. Location is 60,000 pounds. The airmen use bomb lifts and trailers to transport munitions from the storage to the hangar bay. The munitions are thoroughly inspected to ensure they are in proper working condition. B-2 bombers have various designated munitions loading points including bomb bays and rotary launchers. The airmen physically mount the munitions onto the designated loading points of the B-52 bombers. They follow particular instructions to properly align, attach, and secure the munitions. Beyond its formidable arsenal and sophisticated equipment, the B-2 Spirit undergoes meticulous pre-flight preparations, crucial for any mission success. Board. These checks encompass a range of critical aspects, from avionics and systems to engine functionality and flight control verifications. Each element is rigorously tested to ensure the bomber's readiness for the complexities of modern aerial warfare. Avionics, the electronic systems used in aviation, play a pivotal role in the B-2 stealth operations. Necessitating thorough checks to maintain the aircraft's low visibility and high efficiency. Similarly, the engine's performance is scrutinized, as it must flawlessly support long-range, high-altitude missions. Uh, we've got four F-117, 17,000-pound thrust-producing engines, and those are actually embedded in the jet. It's kind of why it's hard to see. They're just those little bumps on top of the wing right now. Whereas most jets, you just walk up and you can see the big engine hanging out on the outside. Uh, that's not the case for us because we're supposed to be stealthy. 
Lastly, flight controls integral to the bomber's unique flying wing design are carefully examined to guarantee precise maneuverability and stability. These pre-flight routines underscore the intricate balance between the B-2 stealth capabilities and operational demands, ensuring it remains one of the most advanced and feared aircraft in the skies. The B-2 Spirit's maneuverability, a crucial feature for any stealth bomber, is largely attributed to its innovative design and sophisticated control mechanisms. As a flying wing aircraft, it inherently faces challenges in flight stability. To counteract this, the B-2 employs a complex quadruplex computer-controlled fly-by-wire flight control system. This system automatically adjusts flight surfaces and settings, maintaining stability without needing direct pilot inputs. The aircraft's design smartly incorporates pitot-static sensing plates instead of traditional pitot tubes. Enhancing stealth while accurately gathering flight data like airspeed and angle of attack. Northrop Grumman's ingenuity extends to the B-2's directional control. After extensive research, they adopted a blend of split brake rudders and differential thrust, minimizing radar visibility while maintaining efficient control. Engine thrust plays a pivotal role, affecting not just drag and lift, but also the bomber's pitching and rolling motions. The aircraft features four pairs of control surfaces along the wing's trailing edge. While most surfaces are active across various flight conditions, the inner elevons are typically reserved for slower speeds, such as during landing. A notable design feature is the drooping of all elevons during takeoff. This is done to prevent contact damage. Another vital aspect of B-2 operations is aerial refueling and hot pit refueling. Aerial refueling allows the B-2 to undertake extended, far-reaching missions by receiving fuel mid-flight. In contrast, hot pit refueling facilitates rapid ground refueling with engines running, which is crucial for quick response scenarios. Together, these practices are integral to the B-2's operational readiness. underscoring its role as a persistent, versatile presence in the skies. Apart from operational effectiveness, another critical aspect is its maintenance process. Given its substantial weight of 160,000 pounds, specialized procedures are employed to ensure optimal functioning. The B-2 really, this is it. This is, there's only a certain amount of them and they're all here at Whiteman. And to come here and work on the only bomber that can go out and do what it does is, is none can compare to. 
The massive aircraft is hoisted on hydraulic jacks, allowing for thorough maintenance of its landing gear. During this process, all hydraulic cylinders are meticulously inspected for any signs of leakage. And the wheels are replaced if any damage is detected. Simultaneously, the aircraft undergoes engine maintenance. A crucial step to ensure the bomber's reliability and readiness. This comprehensive approach to maintenance underlines the importance of regular, rigorous upkeep in preserving the B-2's operational integrity and prolonging its service life. Considering the evolution of stealth and aviation history prior to the B-2, the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk stands as another significant aircraft in this stealth lineage. Developed by Lockheed's secretive skunk works in the 1970s to counter advanced Soviet SAMs, the F-117 was the first operational aircraft built with stealth as a priority. Its maiden flight was in 1981 at Nevada's Groom Lake, with the first production model delivered in 1982. The F-117, a single-seat subsonic twin-engine aircraft, boasts a sophisticated suite of navigation and attack systems. Primarily relying on GPS and inertial navigation. It carries an internal bay for ordnance, capable of holding up to 5,000 pounds. including various laser-guided and GPS-guided bombs. Designed with a distinctive faceted shape to minimize radar detection, the F-117 has a radar cross-section of approximately 0.001 square feet. This stealth design, however, limits its speed to subsonic due to lower engine thrust and a lack of afterburners which also reduces its infrared signature. The F-117 Nighthawk's limited capacity led to the development of the larger, more versatile B-2 Spirit. Delivered to Whiteman Air Force Base in 1993, the B-2 achieved initial operational capability by 1997. Initially designed for nuclear missions, this stealth bomber has adapted to a dual role, handling both conventional and nuclear armaments. As the U.S. plans for the future, the aging fleet of B-2s, B-1s and B-52s is set to be replaced by a new generation of bombers. Initially projected to operate the B-2 until 2058, the 2019 budget accelerated its retirement to no later than 2032. To fill this gap, the Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider is being developed as a strategic bomber for the USAF. The evolution of stealth technology in U.S. aviation has been a journey of groundbreaking developments. From the pioneering F-117 Nighthawk to the formidable B-2 Spirit and now the cutting-edge B-21 Raider. Each aircraft represents a significant leap in technological advancements 
showcasing the USAF's commitment to maintaining aerial superiority. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.